Now to a Today Show exclusive. The widow of a chain smoker who died of lung cancer in 1996 is awarded more than $23 billion in punitive damages against the nation's second largest cigarette maker, R.J. Reynolds. And yes, you heard me right, $23 billion. She spoke only with NBC News, and Kristen Welker has her story. I, first, I, I heard millions. I didn't know it was B with a B, billions. And... I still can't believe it. Cynthia Johnson Robinson says she's still in disbelief after a Florida jury ordered tobacco giant R.J. Reynolds to pay her more than $23 billion for the wrongful death of her husband, Michael Johnson. Birthdays, Christmas, Father's Day, I still go and put flowers out on his grave. Johnson was a chain smoker who died of lung cancer in 1996 when he was just 36 years old. His widow still blames the company. They concealed information that was harmful to a human uh, for years and still to this day have not admitted that they were wrong. Once part of a class action lawsuit that was tossed out in 2006, Robinson then sued R.J. Reynolds on her own. And on Friday, she was awarded one of the largest verdicts in U.S. history. R.J. Reynolds is vowing to appeal, writing in a statement, the damages awarded in this case are grossly excessive and impermissible under state and constitutional law. We beat them once and we'll beat them again because we're on the side of justice. We're on the right side. Still, according to one legal analyst, Robinson may never see the billions she's been awarded. When you get an award this size, which is extremely, extremely rare, a lot of the times the award portion will get appealed, and nine times out of ten, they're very successful. Cynthia Johnson Robinson says her husband would be proud. He would say, we did it. We did it. The time has come. And someone had to start somewhere, and it started with me and Michael Johnson. For today, Kristen Welker, NBC News. A Florida jury has awarded a smoker's widow with one of the largest verdicts ever against a tobacco company. The Pensacola jury sided with Cynthia Robinson against R.J. Reynolds' tobacco company. They awarded her with more than $16 million in compensatory damages and $23 billion in punitive damages. Robinson's husband, a longtime smoker, died of lung cancer back in 1996. R.J. Reynolds vows to appeal. It's not about the appeals. It's not about the money. We've made a difference already. I think less people are going to smoke. I think that the tobacco companies are going to get their act together. They're going to make safer cigarettes. We know they can. They'll just make a little bit less money, but we'll save a whole lot of lives. And that's what it's all about. Gary added the lawsuit's goal was to stop tobacco companies from targeting children and young people with their advertising. News 4 has learned new details of one of the largest jury verdicts ever. That's right. We're talking about $23 billion awarded overnight to a Florida family. Smoker Michael Johnson Sr. died of lung cancer in 1996. His family sued R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company, blaming it for his death. Friday night, the jury ordered the cigarette manufacturer to pay $23.6 billion dollars in punitive damages. That's on top of the 17 million that a judge awarded Johnson's family. Just minutes ago, News 4 Shamari Stone had an exclusive interview with the family attorney who won last night's verdict. Some say this verdict is excessive. What do you say to people who have the opinion that Johnson decided to smoke on his own? He knew about the dangers of smoking. I say to those people, Let's join in and stop the tobacco industry from laughing at us while they drive to the bank with larger money bags. Let's stop them. Let's put the grave diggers out of business. Cigarette smoking is killing 480,000 people every year. People that never would smoke, people that wouldn't smoke. They spend billions of dollars on advertising. They lure our kids into smoking, our children. Now the case could be up for an appeal and then could be settled.